Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a huge welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW Personal Points Plan. <laughs> happy Friday, happy after Christmas, happy almost New Year's. It is Friday, one of my favorite days of the week. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how my week went. This week's WW Workshop topic, we'll talk about some goals as we move into the new year. And of course, I'll share with you this week's weigh-in. So if you are excited, give this video a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. I would absolutely love to have you be part of my community. I do upload about five days a week, so make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on. Check out that description box down below for nutrition coaching, where I offer personalized macros and calories, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching to help you reach your goals. Links, discounts to all of my favorite things, and of course my Facebook group. Come on over, join us there. We would love to have you. So let's jump into this week's workshop topic and of course this week's weigh-in. <laughs> Happy Friday. I hope you guys had the best week ever. I hope you had an absolutely fantastic Christmas. We had a wonderful, wonderful holiday. We had my mom, her boyfriend, my cousin, his wife, their two kids, and their daughter's boyfriend all over to our house for Christmas Eve. It was absolutely the best time ever. We played games. We had food. We kept we were able to catch up with each other. It's been almost two years since we've seen them. They weren't able to come over last Christmas because of the panini. So we were just really, really happy to see them and to catch up with them. It was just a great evening. And then Christmas day was so perfect. My mom, my husband and myself opened our gifts. We had a healthy Christmas dinner. We just had a really relaxing, wonderful time. We watched Christmas movies, our favorite movies during the holidays, of course, his Christmas vacation, as well as a Christmas story. We watched both of those movies on Christmas Day and just really enjoyed family and just had a cozy, comfortable Christmas. So let me know down in the comments how your holiday went and if you got everything that you wanted from Santa. I did go ahead and indulge sort of over the holidays. I did treat myself to a couple of sweet treats. Like I mentioned, we had a healthy Christmas dinner and I only focused on the protein and the vegetables. I skipped all of the starchy sides. So I feel like considering that it was Christmas, I did really well over the holiday. And of course, the next day I got right back on track and I've been on track ever since. I didn't go to Jazzercise due to the Christmas holiday, but I'm picking that right back up this week and I miss it. I can't wait to go back and get in my at least three days of Jazzercise every single week. I've been eating really well. I've been following my diet recommended by my doctor. I, I'm feeling really good with my food choices. I've truly never been more satisfied eating a little less calories, which is quite interesting because I do like to eat as many calories as I can and still lose weight. But based on the foods that I'm eating, I just don't need as many calories every single day, which is still quite interesting to me. I definitely want to do a health eating update for you guys, and I'll be putting that out in January. So definitely stay tuned for that. I just also put out my goals video where I shared with you this awesome vision board that I found on Amazon and all of my 2022 goals goals and recap my 2021 goals and let you know whether I reached those or not, as well as how much weight I lost overall in 2021. So I'll link that video down below for you if you haven't seen it. But before we jump into this week's weigh-in, let's talk about this week's workshop topic. And that is why reflecting on your journey is well worth it. Look back on the past month or maybe the past six months or even the past year. Think about what lessons you've learned. What have you discovered over this last year? What were what didn't. Reflect on what worked and what didn't work and develop a plan as we move into the new year. It's a new year. New year, new you, make 2022 the best year yet. One way to reflect is to explore what changes you made and whether or not those worked for you. One tip on reflecting back is to explore your successes, the big ones and the small ones. What changes did you make this last year and how did you make those changes? How did those changes impact your overall weight loss journey? 
journey. What helped bring you a balance and which shifts happened too quickly or maybe not quick enough? Then think about your challenges. Reflect on the things that you struggled with this last year. What trials did you face? Which hurdles impacted your journey? Where did you struggle when it came to balance? What goals haven't you achieved yet that maybe were your goals for 2021? And if you're going to keep working on that goal, what are you going to do differently? Next is to look ahead, look into the future, look into 2022. How will you feel when you reach that goal? Maybe it's the goal that you didn't reach in 2021. Maybe it's a brand new goal for the new year. What obstacles do you need to overcome to reach those goals? And think small. Which goal do you want to reach in the next month? three months, six months. And lastly, move forward. Start moving towards those goals. What can you do this week that's truly doable? So something you can actually do that will help you move closer towards your goal. How will you respond to any challenges that may come up along the way? And what lessons have you learned from the past that can help you nail your goal this time? Learning from what you did well and what you didn't do well in the past and learning how to have balance is essential for not only reaching your goals, but for making the new year the best year you can make it. It will help you better navigate your journey in the future and will help set up realistic, doable, short-term and long-term goals. Make sure you're focusing on short-term goals as well. We don't wanna overwhelm ourselves with these really lofty long-term goals without setting up little goals along the way to help us reach those long-term goals. And of course, don't forget to celebrate what you've already done. Whether you reached all of your goals in 2021 or not, you certainly had a fantastic year and it's time to celebrate all of those successes. Recognizing any progress that you've made can really help with your mental health and make you feel really good about moving into 2022. Like I mentioned in my goals video, next year is my year. So now let's jump in to this week's weigh-in. I had a great week. It was Christmas. Even with Christmas, I was absolutely floored when I stepped on the scale. I have lost another 1.4 pounds over Christmas. Over Christmas, I lost 1.4 pounds. Getting back on track and making healthier choices, enjoying the holidays, but not overindulging on the holidays definitely worked for me. In the past, I've never lost weight over Christmas. If anything, I've gained, or maybe if I was lucky, maintain my weight, but just by choosing healthier foods and not going overboard, I was able to lose 1.4 pounds. That means for the last three weeks, I've lost over a pound. Now I'm really excited, again, moving into the new year because I'll be getting on my thyroid medication. Hopefully my weekly weight loss increases even more once I get my health and my body in check. But I'm excited. I am thrilled for the new year. I am ready. I am counting down the days to the new year. I have some fantastic goals set for myself, both big and small and I'm going to reach them. I'm definitely going to reach my goals in 2022. So now I wanna hear from you guys. First of all, let me know how your holiday was. Also, let me know what are some of your goals for 2022 and what are you going to do to reach them? As always, if you enjoyed today's video and you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. Of course, I'd love to have you here and don't forget to hit the bell so you never miss a single upload. We do a weigh-in every single Friday. Down in that description box, you will find nutrition coaching. Link and discounts to all of my favorite things as well as my Facebook group. Come on over, join us there. We'd love to have you. Happy Friday, friends. Happy weekend. And I'll see you all in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.